three. How do you want it? How do you want it? Ladies of NYC, be where this man is out here on Tinder and Hinge, and he will steal from you. So this is a story about how that f***er stole my Mary Jane tabbies um, that my father bought for me as a birthday gift. Okay, so how it all happened. So I'm walking around Soho and I see this really cute guy and we cross paths. We just lock eyes. First of all, who steals somebody's shoes? So this man stole her shoes? Now that's crazy. Like who goes to somebody's crib and steal a shoe, a pair of shoes? You can't buy your own shoes? That's wild, man. And that's really it. Fast forward in the evening, I get a message on Tinder, and it's from the guy, and he's like, hey, did I see you downtown? I didn't know we matched on Tinder before, but guess we did. We start chatting, and then we ended up going out for drinks. We get drinks, and everything seems, like, cool, and, like, he seems like a nice guy and, like, someone I would just probably just hang out with for, like, a little fling and just, like, sleep with. After the day, he's pretty persistent about, like, seeing... At least he's straightforward about it. Somebody I'll just hang out with and sleep with. You know, at least she's direct with what she wants, I guess. Me again and hanging out. Okay, fast forward, we hang out again, he comes over and we sleep together. Before we sleep together, we're like chatting about like fashion and stuff and he's like really wants tabbies and like he, I'm like, oh yeah, I have some tabbies and like, he's like, oh, I really want the boots. So you don't wait, huh? You get straight to the point. I see Target. I'm interested in Target. We meet up. We smash. Like, she get right to the point, man. There's no delay. So she met this dude, and a few hours later, they're smashing. You know, no wait time. So I get getting to know him, you know, she gets right to the point. So she just met him. You barely got to feel the dude out, and he's already on top of you. Okay, so then fast forward to the morning, we have sex again. Then I get up, I go and I brush my teeth, I come back, he's putting his clothes on, and we chat a little bit more. So now we're chatting, and he's like, oh, can I show you this playlist on Spotify? I feel like you really like it. And I'm like, okay, sure. Um, he doesn't have Spotify, and we've already discussed this, so he, um, I give him my phone to go on Spotify to look it up. I open my phone and everything for him, I give him the app to Spotify, he looks it up. So then he gives me back my phone. He's like, I can't find the playlist. I'm just like, okay, it's time to go. And he's like, I'm gonna head out. And I'm like, bye. And he's like, okay, like text me. And I'm like, okay, bye. The hours pass. I'm on my computer. I look over to my shoe rack over here. I have tabby boots up there. We were talking about the tabby boots and he was like referencing those. He barely glanced at the, the Mary Janes, okay? I look over there and they're gone. And I'm like- So this man basically was plotting had a diabolical plan to steal her shoes. That's crazy. Like, who steals shoes? Like, seriously. Who goes around stealing shoes? Now, that's, that's weird. Stealing shoes? You can't just buy your own? Where are my tabbies? So I look, like, high and low, look under my bed, look at my suitcase, look at my closet, can't find them anywhere. So I'm like, okay, that's fine. I'm not going to be accusatory. I'm just going to see if he knows where I put them. I go to Tinder to message him, unmatched, gone. I'm like, oh no, this bitch stole my shoes. So I go, it's fine. We talked on the phone. I'm just gonna go um, to my call log and find his number. I go to the call log and he literally deleted the history of the call. So I can't find his number. And I'm like, so when you were on Spotify, you were actually deleting my your phone number from my phone. So this man is a mastermind, basically. So, you know, he planned it, premeditated. Actually, let me use your phone for Spotify, basically, so he could remove all trace so she can't get in contact with him after he stole her shoes. That's wild. That's crazy. That is crazy. But who goes around stealing shoes? Obviously, he thought he wouldn't have been caught. You know, he thought he got away, basically, until she put him on blast on the Internet. And we all know, come on now, the Internet is undefeated. It's that simple. But that's some real loser shit to steal somebody's shoes and then block them. So you meet somebody, y'all hooked up, 
you stole their shoes and then blocked them. More of the story is don't fuck a fucker named Joshua on Tinder. He's a dead. And if you know who he is, where he lives, or anything about him, fuck The moral of the story is slow down, man. Take it slow. You just meet somebody. Get to know them first. Give it some time. You know, give it a week or two. Slow down, shorty. You just meet a dude a few hours later. He's on top of you, humping you. You don't know nothing about him. Could be a killer. Who knows what? You end up being a thief. Stole his shoes. You got to slow down, man. Slow down. Don't be so hot in the pants. Give it some time. Feel a dude out. Get to know somebody. See where their head is at. Not saying that would have told you if he's a thief or not, obviously, but you got to slow down. Let me know because I deserve retribution and I want my shoes back. So I don't really know how he got it out of my apartment. I'm pretty sure he put it in his pants waistband because he was wearing like cargo pants, like kind of baggy pants, like kind of baggy shirt, like a bigger shirt. Um... So I'm pretty sure like he just put it in his pants somehow um, in like the waistband or the pockets or something if they were deep enough because they're like kind of slim. So you could probably like finesse. Okay, so I did not know that this TikTok was going to go viral like this. I mean, I wanted it to, but I didn't know it was going to go like this in the speed that it did. Um, I want to address a few questions I've been getting. Yes, I reached out to Verizon. They told me that I won't be able to get my like call log until the 4th because that's when. Thank God the social media and the internet. She ended up getting the help she needed. Luckily. So this man took a join and he was out. But luckily social media, you know, her posting about the situation. She got help. She got the help she needed my like bill itemizes or like you know populates and like you can see everything that you've done um so i can't get that information quite yet um but y'all found his ass um you guys boosted this shit so well and got it to the right audiences <laughs> like i'm i love you guys uh so someone reached out to me knew who he was gave me his instagram i do have his instagram i'm not going to post it here you know like just yet because uh i don't want to scare him off or like get blocked or anything and even though this shit is already viral i'm just trying to be as tactful as possible when it comes scare him off get blocked he already blocked you on your phone etc so it doesn't make a difference if you was to hit him up it would be the same result he's gonna block you so it doesn't make a difference comes to this um so hopefully we get the shoes back guys we are getting our tabbies back, if it's the last thing I do. Okay, so I woke up this morning to the video getting even crazier, and now there's memes, it's on Twitter uh, and everywhere, but update, I got my tabbies back. So... Luckily. Yeah, I ended up getting them back, and I'll tell you guys exactly how. So after, like, finally finding him, he privated his Instagram, I couldn't really communicate with him through that um i like reached out to his sister i reached out to like a bunch of people because people were giving me a bunch of information about him so i was just trying to get in contact with him um he finally calls me two hours later after he privated his account and starts to gaslight me and tell me that um he didn't steal them and he doesn't know how it happened and what happened and he's like that's just out of my character i would never do that and is this guy an idiot so you met somebody, y'all hooked up, you smash, then you blocked her, her shoes went missing, and you're trying to convince her that you didn't steal her shoes. But you blocked her for no reason. Y'all hooked up, you know, had fun, had a fun night, day, whatever. You end up blocking her. Why would you block somebody if you're interested in them? Her shoes went missing, so who, did, who stole it? A ghost? Come on, man. I mean, some people are bad liars. It's that simple. Some people are bad liars. They're not good at lying. And clearly you stole her shoes. It was there until you showed up. Like, I started feeling crazy because I'm like, you're real. He's, this man is a psychopath. Um, he was trying to convince. You know what she said? He's a psychopath. 
That's why I said you got to slow down. You just meet somebody. They're already at your crib a few hours later. But luckily, he wasn't a killer or something crazy. You got to slow down. Stop being so hot in the pants. Slow down. It's me that he didn't steal it. I'm like, how? Then tell me how. what happened. Um, and then he went into saying that he would give me money for it. And that's when I knew he was lying because he was like, oh, you, I can give you $500. You know what I do for a living. You, like, I'll give you $1,000. And I'm just like, oh, when you're offering money, that means you did it. Like an innocent person would not give $1,000 if they did not do it. So He's correct. This dude is goofy as hell. Who's going to offer somebody $1,000 if you never stole their shoes? Or even if you did a grand, a thousand dollars, come on. That's clear proof you took it. That's clear proof. Why would I offer you money if I'm innocent? That doesn't even make any sense. That don't add up. So clearly he took the shoot. This guy is dumb as hell. So you're a bad thief and you're dumb. It's a bad combination. Stop stealing, man. Oh, so then... The plot thickens, find out he has a girlfriend and that he gave my tabbies to his girlfriend. Um, I send him a screenshot of his girlfriend wearing my tabbies. And he's like, an hours later at 3 a.m., I get a text message and he's like, I, you caught me. Um, I'll give you back your shoes. Can you take down the video? So this is him. Man, this dude is goofy as hell. So he stole her shoes to give to his girlfriend. Instead of going out and buying his girlfriend her own pair. He hooked up with this chick and then stole her shoes and gave it to his girlfriend. What kind of buster loser move is that? Who does that? I'm going to steal your shoes so I could give it to my girlfriend. Man, this dude is different. And now he wants her to take down the video because he's exposed for being a thief. Like, you got to make better decisions. You got to make sense. Why would you steal somebody's shoes? If you can't afford it right away, save up and get your own pair. But to steal her shoes to give to your chick, man, that, this dude is different. Again, gaslighting me, being like, I didn't do anything. Then I send him this, and then hours later, he's like, got me. That's his girlfriend wearing my shoes, by the way. And like, he thinks this shit is a f As always, hit the subscribe button, like, comment, share, holla at your boy.